Did you know that all the pros have their controllers overclocked to get less input lag? In today's video, I'll show you how you can do the same thing. It's extremely easy. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what you need to do is go to this link. It will be down in the description below. You simply click on it. You will see uh, uh, this file right here, this program called Hidus BF Zip, and it's updated six months ago. So we simply click on this zip file right over here, and then we click on the download button on the right. You download the file and I'm going to show you how to unzip it and how to actually use it. All right, so we have this zip file right over here. You can simply extract it using WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you use. Extract it right over here and now you will see a bunch of different texts, a bunch of different files. You go to the driver and then you go into the setup right over here. So you open up the setup and then it will show all the devices that are currently connected. Now we want to plug in our controller using the USB cable so it actually shows up over here. So let's do that. All right, so now I have my controller connected. It doesn't show it over here because it's set to mice. If you click on mice and then all, you will see all of your devices right over here. If you don't know which one is your controller, you can simply unplug it and then plug it back in and notice which one disappeared and which one comes back. So if we look closely, give it a second, I just plugged it back in. It looks like this one is the controller. It says right here, USB audio device, dual sense wireless controller. That is my controller right over here. So that means that's the file. It just changed to the headset microphone, but it still says dual sense wireless controller. So you click on this and then what we want to do is overclock it. What that actually does is it decreases the input lag and just makes it more snappy and better in games. So what we want to do now is click on the controller itself. Make sure this is like marked blue and then go into install service. You click on yes, it installs it. Then you go back to default. You choose 1000, which is the polling rate right here. Click on install service and then go into filter on so uh, filter on device, tag that, click on install. Keep in mind that if you're using a PS5 controller like I am, you can actually go into the polling rate right over here and change it to 8000 and go install and that will make it even better. So now if we replug it and we go back and plug it back in, it should be fully updated and even better than last time. And now it says one, which is the one millisecond right over here. So if that didn't change before, just simply go into the polling rate and you will be able to change it to 8,000 right over here instead of 1,000. That should be working only on PlayStation 5, but it also might be working on some other controllers. So check if you can, change it to the highest number, and then you should be good to go. And that's basically it. Let me know if you have any issues down in the comments below. I will be happy to assist. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.